Alright, so I'm doing a Synapse video, so I decided to bring it to one of the few enemies that is mainly just for uh, single target damage. Where the hell did he go? There he is. As you can see by the numbers, they are not that bad, especially since I am using Hydroid, who is, well, obviously going to benefit from using single target weapons like these that are doing corrosive damage. Sadly, as I can tell, it's not doing more than, like, my, um, Burst on Prime does, but... That is me having to deal with the whole fact of um, the burst on is a full auto weapon that I'm used to using, so I built around it while this is sadly a beam weapon. And this one really demands that you keep up your um, your primary dead end and stuff like that. So that is where a big problem of this weapon comes from. But it does have a plus 10 percent bonus on headshots. So that is very, very nice. So let me go ahead and get back to fighting him because we got to do this whole transition thing. So I'll be back whenever we get to him. So if you all have been enjoying the content so far on my channel and enjoying the video, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on that bell for post notifications so, was, so you always get notified whenever I go ahead and post another video. I do appreciate it. It shows me that you'll enjoy my content. Anyway, let's get back into the video. All right, and we're back with him. And this time I actually kept up my galvanized aptitude and stuff. Uh, he's up here. I mean, the damage numbers aren't bad from what I saw just then. And so let's try to get back to that. There you go. I mean, 55 Ks. Where did he go now? Oh, there he is. I mean, that's not that bad. I'm moving. Uh, It is... That one? There you go. Where does he keep moving? God, it's been a minute since I've actually tried to hit one of these guys. There we go. I mean, it's not that bad, obviously, compared to my burst on. It's not as strong, but this target is a little annoying to hit with cons uh, consecutive headshots. So I'll head to the simulacrum room and we'll review the builds there. So I'll see you all there. Now, just as a uh, thing to remember, these builds are never the best go to options. They are just the things I've used to try and see if I can get the weapon to work. And it's just a guide so y'all may follow it. So with the Synapse today, we have two builds. I have one with a ribbon, one with outer ribbon. They both basically do the same thing, but I do have complaints on this weapon. The beam weapon without punch through, so doing it for ad clear, not ad clear, um, general like killing of just random enemies, hard to do. But it's good for getting those individual enemies that have a lot of health. The biggest issue with it is the fact that I've used galvanized mods during my testing with against the Archon, which are hard to keep up during those fights due to the lack of enemies. That's why whenever I used to do Archon hunts, I use my burst on prime, but I will still review these builds thoroughly and go through them with you before um, showing them off against the simulacrum enemies because you saw how it worked against the Archon. So when it comes to the builds, we have two, like I had said, this one takes advantage of the fact that I put shred on it. So we get punched through. This one loses Shred for my Riven mod, so we'll first cover this one, then we'll go to the next one. So, with the without Riven mod, you're using Galvanized Chamber, Galvanized Scope, Galvanized Aptitude. You'll have Corrosive and whatever other uh, element you would like. Vital Sense to take advantage of the whole Headshot Multiplier, and Hunt Munitions to apply Slash on Crit. You can replace Galvanized Scope with Critical Delay and or similar, like Point Strike. You can replace Galvanized Aptitude for whatever mod you like, and obviously... No one really uses normal shred. Use prime shred if you want to, but it's up to you. With the Riven mod, also both are using primary deadhead. My Riven mod uses multi-shot and toxin on it. I got this at 10 and I could never get anything better. So we were able to drop malignant force for, well, this one. We have more multi-shot on top of galvanized chamber, galvanized scope again, galvanized aptitude, rhyme round so we can get viral. I put thermite like I just said, so I could have um, something else if I'm in a format. We have vital sense for the crit damage and Hunch Munitions to apply Slash on Crit. So I'll show off how both of them compare side by side. So the first one I'm going to show off is with the Riven, so you can see what it's like whenever you don't have Punch Through. So as you see, it obviously doesn't have Punch Through, so it's not going to go through any of the enemies, but it still does hit quite hard. As you can see, it's doing a lot of good damage, and it's really good for just dealing with those individual targets, as you can tell. I'm just shredding through them and having to quickly swap. But due to the fact it doesn't have punch through, as you try to hit an enemy, like stay behind them, if their body gets in the way, you are just going to keep shooting that dead body, which makes it become a problem. But had no problems killing all those enemies. What about the other one? Will the other one be faster or will it be slower at killing? All right, so now we're doing the build that has shred and without the Riven mod. How much better will this one perform? How much worse will this one perform? 
Well, as you can tell, now that we have some punch through, we're able to just go through multiple enemies, keeping up our mods a little bit easier and a lot faster. So it's kind of just shredding through them. Now, it is obviously still a little hard to hit headshots on enemies that aren't roughly the same height with each other. That's why it's the battle groups are a little annoying. But as you can see, it went through much faster. The other one took about 49. That one took about 25. So I'll give my thoughts on the weapon because as you saw, it works quite well with targets like these. And it's all right against um, Archons, but obviously not everyone will go for those. So I'll give my... So overall, what do I think about this weapon? I think this weapon overall is quite nice. It is fun to use and can be quite strong. It's just the problem of that I think it's been power crept out of being useful because there are a lot of other weapons people rather use than the Synapse because while this may do really well against single targets with dealing with headshots, there are a lot of other weapons that can do that quite well, if not better. Things that I like to use would be like the Burst on Prime. My Burst on Prime has shredded a ton of Archons in the time of me using it. So I really like bringing it to basically anything with a lot of uh, heavy single target enemies. Things like the uh, Kuva Heck are always good options against single target uh, enemies because of the massive damage it does in that four burst shot. Uh, shotguns like the Strun are really good. I think the Tigers can still do quite well. The Torrid I think can outperform the Synapse possibly, but I am unsure on that one. But it's all dealer's choice on that matter. So the weapon is nice, it's strong, it's really good for armored enemies. I think it just needs innate punch through so that it would be a little bit easier to use against hordes of enemies instead of just individual enemies. Because I'm having to sacrifice slots for either punch through or hoping my Riven gets punch through so I can use it in other missions. So that's my final thoughts on this weapon. Tell me what weapons y'all want to see in the comments below. And do remember to hit that like button and do subscribe so you always get notified of whenever I post another video. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out everybody.